Hello, this is Dan again, aka WileyK209's back, and yes, this is another Let's Play video of another one of my favorite childhood games from the 90s. Putt Putt Goes to the Moon, released in 1993 by Humongous Entertainment. You may notice the music's a little different, as I played the Windows version as a kid. It had a lyrical opening theme, but this version doesn't, because this is the only version that would work properly on my Macintosh computer. Using an emulator, it is. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. I'm so That's excited. That's okay. I think the music sounds better in this Mr. version, in my opinion. Peppin me to the fireworks factory. I bet this is going to be a great day. Oh, it sure should be a Putt Putt. And there's Putt Putt's cute dog, Pep. Pep has a green collar instead of the red one he usually wears. Mr. Firebird invites everyone to come down to take a tour of the Car Town Fireworks Factory today. Look at Putt Putt's eyes. They actually follow the cursor wherever you click. Can't have a Putt Putt game without. That's my gas gauge. Of all like Putt Putt's pretty, he doesn't run out of gas at all. He stays full the whole time. That's how it is in all future games. All right, here's Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Putt Putt. Would you like to help me make a skyrocket? You bet. I'll give you a hand, but be careful not to touch that lever. It's for my big secret experiment. Why does he wow. sound a little like Pee Wee Herman? He does seem a little similar. But anyways, like... Mr. Firebird will help me make fireworks. No duh, you have to put the obvious, right, Pep? Unlike later games, if you click on Pep for the most part, he'll he'll just poke out to bark. It says Test. Let's give it the works, shall we? Right stars. Oh, the squiggly worms are my favorite. They're neat. Those hearts are sure pretty. Let's try this one. I guess it depends on the pyrotechnics or something. Mm. Huh. It's interesting, you didn't need gunpowder or anything in there. Anyways, here it goes. Like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, not bad. Show me what you want to do. You already said that. Notice, even though the music is a little lower quality on this version, it's still pretty much the same game. Oh, well, that and these, this different style cursor. I better not touch that. Well, of course not. You're a goody goody. But Pep? Oh, the butterfly! What a pretty butterfly. Uh oh! No, Pep! Nice going, Pep! Why are they smiling still? It's like the survivor, it's enjoying this! Buckle your seatbelt, butt butt! You're going for a ride! Well, seatbelt's not gonna help in this case! Whee! But let's enjoying it! Outer space, though, right? Super Cat! Ew, is this creepy sounding MIDI music plays? I could check out some of these. There we go. Another cat. Mew. And he becomes a super cat too. Oh, this is the educational part. Mercury's that way, 58 million kilometers from the sun. The planet Venus is over there, 108 million kilometers from the sun. I didn't know that. Well, this is to teach children sure. about astronomy. Your home? Yes. 
and I gotta find a way to get back. But there. how far is Earth from the, the sun? Mars, 228 million kilometers from the sun. Jupiter, a whopping 778 million kilometers from the sun. That's a long way. Yeah, but I could see it in the night sky sometimes. The planet because Saturn is one it's billion, so big. Four hundred seventeen million kilometers from the sun. A billion? Oh my! That's the one with all the rings too. Uranus is that way. Two billion eight hundred fifty-two million kilometers from the yes, sun. Yes, and he means wow. the planet Uranus, not you know. The planet Neptune is four billion four hundred seventy million kilometers from the sun. That's a long way off. The planet Neptune Oops. is four billion four hundred seventy million kilometers from the sun. That's a long way off. And now Pluto is way out. But there. Pluto's actually a, a dwarf planet. Not a regular planet. from the sun. I bet it's really cold there. The Earth's moon. Four hundred thousand kilometers. Alright, that's essential to know. Hang on, Pep! It looks like that's where I'm headed. Yeah, that was a we're little glitch, and I made it intentional because I liked how he says it there. It's interesting how they made some custom sprites here. And now we touch down. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm on the he's moon. still smiling. He's, he's marooned and he's still happy for some reason. Maybe the radio works on the moon. News flash: In an unfortunate accident today, Putt Putt was blasted out of the roof of the Car Town Fireworks Factory. It is suspected that he is somewhere in, in outer, outer space. space. Ooh. <laughs> I don't have much time to just stand or smile on the ramp. I gotta find a way home. Do you know the way back to Earth? No, we just got here. We're from Canada. Hmm. Maybe they came from the hometown where Dorothy and Annie yeah, M and Uncle Henry idea. live. Maybe a tornado sucked them to the moon. I guess I can't get home that way. Of course not. It's kind of a dumb way, but but. Another car? Hmm. That's weird. You're in this. Pep. <laughs> you wanna play hide and seek? <laughs> okay, here I come. Alright. It's kind of a little mini game of sorts here. It's pretty simple, but the only problem is like you can't really make him you have to click, keep clicking like this. Oops, didn't. Uh, next time I should concentrate more. But I was, as I was pointing out, you have to keep clicking with the cursor here because that way Pup Pup can only move a short distance depending on the clicking. If you click here, okay, he moves a little like that, but if I click here, he won't go there. But at least this time I'm actually getting somewhere. Still does bring back memories of Alfred as a child. Hey! I found you! That was fun! Well now he's now Pip barked like that little puppy on Fatty Bear. Come on, Pep! So the music's a little more limited compared to the Windows version, but still sounds good. It says, caution. However, uh oh! It just barks in there. Maybe I should call for help. <laughs> That's his distress horn. Here comes Rover. What's wrong, little buddy? Can you get me out of this mess? Sure, I'll help you out. I've always loved Rover's theme music here. 
Beginning sounds like the Simpsons credits theme a little. Back time. I was brought here from Earth by some astronauts, but when they went home, I was left behind. So he was here for like 22 yeah, years. Yeah. Well, All they left me was this picture of the moon. Well, 22 years, because this you game was from 1993. Boy. I just want to go home. Thanks, Rover. Well, you know, the astronauts have to take off in their lunar lander module right in front of Rover. Are they rubbing it in? Now follow me. And this is a little more elaborate than Fatty Bear's birthday surprise and Puppet wow. joins the parade. Take a look at this place. That looks just like a space rocket. It is a space rocket. And it just might be our ticket home. I wonder if it's for sale. Whoa. It sure is. A, it's How not only is that a two-headed alien, it's a two-gendered alien. Mercedes, but I wonder what it's got down under in the genitalia area. What you need? Thanks. Uh, for some upcoming ad lib style dialogue. Looks like I need to find the steering wheel, the nose cone, the key, the rocket fuel, and ten glowing moon crystal. Well, he's not going to be doing as much as we are, though. Okay. It says rocket ice cream. Look at this bird. We could feed him some ice cream, actually. See? That should keep him satisfied. Now Pep, Pep, now Pep just sparks in there. In a car town news update, we want everyone to know that we have no new news about Putt Putt. Yeah, the radio pretty much just gives a commentary on the game ever since the beginning, inviting us to the fireworks factory, etc. 